sell than rent while looking. So this is from Marianne and from Long Beach, California. And she says, would it be advisable to sell our house here in California first, move to Maui and then rent while searching for a home? Or could we successfully make a contingency offer from California? We're looking for a single family house in the Kula area, which seems to have limiting housing stock. Heidi, how do you respond to Marianne's question? Well, Marianne, I really appreciate the question. It's a great question and it is really important to think through the whole process when you're making a big move. Um, in order to really advise you what to do, I mean, I need to know more about your personal situation. Um, for some people, it could work great. For others, it might be a source of added anxiety and it might be better to rent first to get over here and then buy. Um, so I really can't answer that specifically. Um, one thing to keep in mind, if you are making a contingent offer, most sellers are going to want to see very strong evidence that your other property is already under contract or it's going to sell in an acceptable time frame. And then, of course, if you're competing with other offers, a, a non-contingent offer is going to be stronger. Um, and then I guess another factor, too, of course, is just timing it right, making sure the right property that you want to invest in is coming to the market and coming available right at the right time you're selling your house in California. Um, and then another factor too is you want to consider if you're comfortable purchasing a property site unseen or if you're going to be able to travel to Maui to inspect the property. So there's quite a few timing things that would have to happen to make that work. Um, it is doable. Um, but if you're not sure on the property, if you're not quite sure the area you want to be, um, for some people moving over and renting for a year or so can work great too. So it's kind of, you know, depends on the person. Thanks, Heidi, for pointing that out. And you had mentioned that in some previous uh, after show uh, discussions that we had that some of these questions, you really got to have a better kind of a situational understanding of because everyone's different. So it's no, there's no sort of cut and dried one size fits all kind of answer. Which again is why uh, in the description there's a link you can you can put your questions in that description. Click in. There's a form that pops up. I advise you all to kind of put your questions in there. I could connect you with uh, Heidi or Scott or Dylan uh, to get some uh, great uh, expert advice. Um, Dylan, is there anything you'd want to add to uh, what Heidi said uh, that go that would go beyond what she's already kind of put put forward? Yeah. I would just want to make sure that you know exactly where you want to buy. If you're gonna, if you're gonna not rent first, you know, if you've been here ten times and you stayed in different areas and you're sure of the area that you want to live in, then go ahead and move forward with that. But like Heidi said, it's important that the home already be under contract. A lot of times we get asked, "Hey, can we put an offer in? My house isn't on the market yet, but it will be in a week." And and that makes it very hard. You got to put yourself in the seller's shoes and consider. Would you accept an offer based upon that where there's an open-ended time frame and you're not sure exactly when that other property will go under contract or sell at all? And in the meantime, you're, you're accepting a contract and taking your house off of the market and removing the ability for other buyers to potentially offer on it. So uh, that's one the biggest thing to consider is that timing and, and getting a house under contract and then uh, making sure that uh, you can you can close in a timely fashion to close in the property here. And it does in a competitive market, you're going to be bottom of the barrel in terms of uh, offers considered if you if you have a contingent offer. So it it it, re it removes a lot of strength from your ability to, to compete for a house if there are multiple offers. Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, just put yourself in the seller's shoes. Would you want to put your house under contract to someone who's going to who's contingent upon selling their home in, in God knows what kind of an un, unknown market? Scott, is there anything that you can add to the conversation that we've already said uh, that that hasn't already been said? Yeah, I mean, we're in a marketplace with limited limited inventory where you are going to be competing often, and in and uh, you're you're not going to be able to compete with people who don't have that contingency. You do need to move that contingency, which means selling. And there's an, there's other benefits to selling. You're selling and you're ridding your mind that 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 place that's been your home for many years. You can actually close that chapter, move over, start your new chapter. You're taking baby steps in this process, which is a lot easier to do when you're moving from the mainland here. It's a stressful event to be here. so sell it 
move or rent if you this is where you want to be, then start focus on property. Um, you know, I wrote an offer the other day where we are contingent in that situation, but we we have been in escrow before um, on a different property. The set buyer on my client. Uh, my client's property happened all the way through at the last 10 days of closing. I pull out all the tricks, the tips and have the buyer for that other contract call the people putting the offer in on stuff. Um, so it, it you, you're going to have a hard time competing with other offers and it's a, it's a thing as well that can benefit you from closing one chapter and starting new. Yeah, that's actually a really interesting point is that it's a, there's a psychological thing going on here. It's like a closing a chapter of your life, uh, which is a, which is a really good point. Just kind of close that chapter, close that door so others can open as opposed to kind of keeping one foot in here and one foot there. Excellent. You know, there's.